Okay guys, hey, I'm going to show you how to use Excel to make the graphs that I want you to make from the Refraction Lab. So let's begin by opening up your Excel. And oh goodness, how long is this going to take? Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Blank work document. And I'm going to have you label one of the columns, like column A, this will be your incident angles down here, and column B you'll label th these as your refracted angles. So I have just made up some numbers, but you are actually going to put in the data that you recorded. So for example, let's say your incident angle was 34 degrees and your refracted angle that went with that incident angle was 28 degrees. And you're going to keep going down filling in the incident angles and then the corresponded, corresponding refracted angles. So let me just plug these in really quick. And again, I made these up, but for all intents and purposes, this should work. Now, you should know that Excel does not do sine or cosine or any sort of trigonometric operations in degrees. You have to convert all of these angles to radians. So I'm going to come over here to my D column and I'm going to label this radian incident. That just lets me know, okay, I'm going to convert all of these incident angles from degrees into radians. So to do that, you hit the equal sign near your backspace key and you're going to type R-A-D-I-A-N-S, radians. You're going to open up parentheses and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab from my A2 column. I just clicked it. Close your parentheses hit enter and now this 34 degrees has been converted to radians. I don't have to do that again. All I have to do is come down to the bottom right hand corner of the D2 uh, entry and I'm just going to grab and drag all the way down and it populates this column with the angles from A2 to A6 and it's converted them to radians. I'm going to label this radian, refracted, I don't know, just whatever you want to label it. Come here, click the equal symbol, I'm typing radians, again open parentheses, now I'm doing my refracted ray from the B2, close my parentheses, I hit the enter key, I click here, I'm going to wait, sorry I'm going to cursor, I'm going to move my cursor over the bottom right hand side until the cursor changes from white to black. I'm going to then drag, click and drag all the way down and it populates this column with the um, angles from here and they're now in radians. Cool. Now I want to get the sign. I want to do sign um, of all of these angles that are in radians. So I'm going to select my G column. I'm just going to label it sign of the incident rays just like that. Now I come down to G2 I'm clicking the equal symbol and then SIN for sign open my parentheses and I'm gonna click right here close my parentheses enter and again I can I don't even have to do that for each entry I can just grab the um, bottom right hand corner from this entry and drive all the way down and BAM it populates the column with sign of those angles. Again, this will be the sign of my refracted ray. I'm going to come down, enter, SIN for sign, click here, close parentheses, enter, then I'm going to drag all the way down, and there we go. Now we're going to do a graph of all of the sign of these angles versus the sign of all of these angles. So with the white cursor selected, I'm going to highlight both of these columns, just not including the, the column name. That's just for you or for me. I'm just highlighting the actual numbers, and you're going to go to Insert, Charts. Let's do a scatter plot, and bam, it's automatic. Great. So then you're going to hit the Chart Elements, this green cross. I want you to put axis titles on here, and I'm going to do label this one sign. Open your parentheses. I want you to insert the symbol. We're going to use the theta symbol from the Greek and Coptic subset. 
close. Now you're going to do sine theta. These were the refracted angles. So I want you to do theta sub r. So to do the sub, you hold down control and you click the plus sign or the equal sign, equal key. Hold those down and control plus, let go, then type r. Then hit control, hold down plus again. It brings you out of the sub um, position. Brings you back up, sign, open parentheses, insert symbol, theta, insert, close, and I'm doing control, holding plus. Now I'm in the subset. These were my incident rays, so I'm labeling it I, control plus again. Brings me out of the subscript, subscript mode, and bam. I'm going to label this chart title refracted. I don't know, fracted angles with acrylic acrylic lens. Nice. So I have my axes labeled, sine theta sub i, sine theta sub r. I have my chart labeled refract oh god, cannot spell refracted angles with acrylic lens. Okay. I'm gonna come here and click chart elements again, and I want you to select the trend line. Click the black arrow, go for more options. This will come up, format trend line. Click these bars for trend line options and scroll all the way down and go to display equation on chart. And now you have, um, oops, undo that. Now you have the data that you'll need to complete the rest of this lab later on. In particular, you're going to be looking at the slope of this line. Well, that's all for now. I hope you were able to learn a lot from doing this, and I will see you later.